back to my YouTube channel. This is Nyawira Diaries, and today I'm back again with another beautiful, exciting video. I'm in Madaris Lands in Ngong uh, Ngong area. We are here to surprise my mentor, uh, the girl that I work with in this path of mentorship and stuff. And yeah, we're here to surprise her. She doesn't know we have a cake here. So we're waiting to see her reaction. She's actually mentoring some girls, some girls from the slums around here. And we're here to just see her reactions and to help her mentor these young girls and the good things she's doing in the, in the slums. So come with me. And Suzy, happy birthday to you. Oh, yeah, you now. Fifteen. Fifteen. What is the Fifteen. Asante. Asante. Sonny, you're better when you have a young mother. It's not I manage to write the apple. You see, see, so before I pray, I want us to give, uh, to give us two minutes. One minute to pray for yourself, one minute to pray for your child. So, okay. Let's start. Everybody pray for yourself. When you're not what you want for Nobody can pray. Can you record you
So, beautiful people of Christ, we're here in Mazare, Ngong. Uh, this is my first time here. And I met an amazing person doing a great thing for the, for the sake of young people and teen moms. And as I can see, I see even small kids around. So, I think he's doing a great work. And he's going to tell us what he's doing. Just in a few. Yeah. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. And I left, and I left. So we have different activities. Uh, basically, this is uh, a center. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, is it a rescue center? No, no. It's a um, it's a resource center and a decent a day center for the kids. So when the kids are free at home, instead of roaming around, they come here for different activities. One, we have feeding program. Another. We do train them different skills like art and craft and as you, as you have seen that hall we, we offer it for the community project like the, the inspired teenagers for their mentorship. Mm -hmm. As you have seen we have big girls so we partner with inspired teenagers for the mentorship of the girls and we have several volunteers Mostly are the parents of the children, they come, they volunteer to cook, mm. to, to do the cleaning, and... Please continue. Okay, so mostly the feeding program is, uh, we do we do feed uji, a porridge every day, mm. and sometimes maybe we, when we have food we do feed in the evening after school. Mm. In the holidays and in the in the weekends. Okay. Yeah. So these people, these kids, you feed like they they usually come here because they know the place or out. Uh, they come like from how far? So they come as far as from Gishagi or Arua, but mm. uh, the biggest population is the the children who are in in this land. Okay. Yeah. Lizzie. Now, how did you make to to build this hall? Is this your land or how do you manage it? So, the land, uh, we own it as a youth group. Mm. We were given by the village elders. Mm. And the village elders back in the post of the hall. So, the place uh, is owned by a youth group by the name Riverside, but we agreed with the other members. So I came up with the idea of starting uh, this initiative, and we agreed uh, I should use it. And with time, as we, if we can have a donor who can maybe provide with the with funds to buy the area, so okay. they are free with it. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So now you are you the only one who is now managing the place? So I'm I'm the director, mm. but I work with a group of volunteers. Mm. Uh, we have a cook, mm. and we have like there's some organization who, who pays the teacher every Saturday in the morning, mm. and they they coach the kids uh, mm. is, mm. Mu music instrument. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, and in the evening we have a volunteer who trains some kids, chess club. Wow. Yeah. So every weekend the kids come here early morning, they, they are taught these things like uh, art and craft and in instrumental music, all that every weekend. Yeah. Every, every weekend every, that? Every, every Saturday. Every Saturday. Every Saturday. Mm. And on Sundays mostly we go to church. Mm. After church we have different activities. Mm. We have entertainment whereby mm. we are entertained by the same kids. We have the, the showcase, uh, mm. the showcase their talents, yeah. like dancing, singing, mm. and sort of things. Uh, so far, how do you see these programs? Uh, are they really helping them uh, when they showcase ama wanatukianga kwa namba kubwa yote minya wanakujanga? Yeah, mm. and it gives them confidence. So when you go to churches, when you go to events, yeah. you see they perform with confidence. It's because of the practice they, they do here. Okay. Yeah. Now, ni age gani yenye wanakujanga from like what age teenagers, do they come like in numbers? So, uh, 
uh, there's a big challenge because mm-hmm. uh, you as you can see the influence in the slum. Yeah. But mostly are the young kids from one year to thirteen. Mm-hmm. But we have from thirteen to eighteen they are just kids who, okay. who have been able to maintain and there's another thing. Mm-hmm. So some kids in, in this slum find out that some are free to do whatever they want. Mm-hmm. So mostly I work with the kids who mm-hmm. their parents cooperate. Because sometimes you find they are, they are sort of in this place. Mm-hmm. So if the parent is unable to cooperate, you also we are, we are unable to work with the kid. Okay. So we, sometimes you don't have another option but to suspend or to expel them from the program. Okay. Yeah. As I told you before, we are an environmental organization. By the name Go Green, you can mm. so you can see from the environment we are in. We found ourselves previously when we started working, there was a dump site here, so okay. we have we had so many environmental challenges. Mm. So my biggest aim is to, to teach and train the kids how to improve the condition that they found themselves. Mm. So we have different activities as you can see from here yeah we have a garden yeah but this is just an example yeah of a bigger one up there. Mm-hmm. so we train them to they can plant even a small garden at home yeah we have uh, we have a monthly cleanup wherever we go to the hills we go with the kids mm. we hike we have fun mm. and when you're coming back we <coughs> we clean up the the trash that the visitors left uh, in the, in okay. the hills yeah so mostly you teach them like uh, uh, not uh, like how to litter siku moga takataka kila mahali like maybe like how it is being in the slum areas yeah okay. that's a good thing no mana nini naitwa go green go green yeah, yeah. they're making like uh, the environment to look clean and all kind of stuff oh.